Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned later tonight for a special appearance from rock and roll legends, Dub Dub Not Bottom. Your team's not gonna win, and I don't mean to be mean, but every gesture's crazy about a sharp dress team. Yeah, that's right, folks. We are back with another just a preview. I'm your host, Warren Sprague, and tonight's a very special episode of our 12th season of High School Jester's introductory show called Just a Preview. We're going to be meeting with one of the most iconic schools in our league, if for no other reason that they are always blazing their way through the competition. So let's go ahead and put our hands together first for the king of all of Jester's. That's right, folks. It's King Kobe! I'm I'm trying to get like ZZ Top. It's it's taking a minute. <laughs> I'm it's... really glad you at least knew the reference. Yeah. Though all of them are about the same age as you. Um. <laughs> yes. And let's okay. welcome our new special uh, guest. This is the captain of Team East Tech, right? Going full captain, or at least the the face of East this Tech. This is yes. Right there yeah, you go. Yeah, we'll take the face, the energy, the heartbeat. Let's see if they could blaze a new exciting trail over there. Let's go ahead and welcome our guest. It's Kit Surflin! Yeah! Yay, Kit! Welcome no. in. How, yeah. how do you feel? If this is the first time we've had a jester in this show who hasn't played one show on stage yet. So you're very unique. Welcome, welcome. How do you feel? Um, wow, first of all, very unique. <laughs> what, everything that just happened? Uh, yeah, especially since I probably, I would have been a part of the list of jesters on the show who have been in shows, mm. <laughs> but yeah. I got taken out of improv last year. Yeah. It, it happens. Life happens sometimes. But, so, for these interviews, really what they've kind of been is just a lot of, like, Students have been in the league for a few years, and I remember meeting you last year, uh, but I know that we didn't get to finish up the year with you, so here you are in all of your glory. And when I asked your coach, Romeo, well, who is going to represent East Tech in this interview? And then he said, flat out, it's got to be Kit. I was like, okay, I agree. Let's go talk to Kit. So, so here welcome. you are. How does it feel to be the hand-picked uh, go-to fit? face of the team without even doing a show. Does that feel cool to you? That actually feels really nice. It, it makes me really happy that I was just top of the mind, just like, oh, kit, just her. Yep. Yeah. Cool. When it comes to improv, you have the full kit built in. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um, so let's talk about improv itself. What part of the art form excites you most? What have you learned from these amazing students who came before you who've since moved on? Um, so I'm going to take this one question at a time. I love the quick speed of improv where you come up with a character on the spot. You have to just go with whatever your teammate said. If they said, your name is Joe, I'm Joe, but I got everything else to be creative with. If, even if I thought my name was Nancy. Yeah. I'm now Joe, but like Nancy's character is still with it. It's just a different name, new face. Mm-hmm. I get and it I already. Love the speed and how everyone, like, you just have to go with what everyone says. And for that second question, could you remind me what it is, please? I did forget. <laughs> oh, my second question for you was, what do you think you picked up from the students who came before you, the ones who've already graduated, who already wore the legendary East Tech Blazers? Okay. So the first one that comes to mind would be Summer, where I learned that don't go with the obvious. If the suggestion you've gotten is table, probably go with something other than, oh, look, a table. You could do, um, my, my, how to turn tables. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let's table this question for another time. Um, <laughs> so, so Kit, somewhere around 2014 or 15, I don't remember what year it was, but it was, it was, I think it was one of those two years, East Tech joined the league and they came in blazers aware as they do. Uh, and for whatever reason, I don't know if it was a combination of the students on the team at the time, plus the blazers, but it was like immediately intimidating. Almost the whole league went, oh, 
<laughs> what's going on with these blazers. Uh, so it's just kind of stuck. And then Miss Fleming, and being as wonderful as Miss Fleming is, was like, we're just going to make this happen no matter what every year. And she's been great making sure everyone can have a blazer to perform in each year. Um, have you even been given your blazer yet? Do you have a blazer? I have a blazer. It's not the one for East Pets. Let me just grab it. Yeah, let's check it out. I was thinking about wearing it today, and now I guess I'm wearing it. You're wearing it. Yes, yes <gasps> your first time in the blazer. <laughs> and I love that it's red. You know, that's because it's a power color. <laughs> You're gonna be just fine. Uh, look at that. You know, they've been black blazers this whole time, ever since the inception. I think it's super cool with this year being as polar, not polarizing, but certainly archetype changing as it's been. Uh, why not take it in a different direction? Why not rebuild the tradition and have it look a little different? And I think that's a super cool idea to use a different color, but what, it's, the, it's the power color, huh? You're all about red? No, <laughs> I'm all about blue. But what I want to like be like, hey, I'm here. Red's the color. Red's the color. Hi. Bye, mom. That's the appearance from my sister. That's okay. Oh, bye, sister. Sorry. I think that's the first sister that's made it into one of these interviews too. Yeah. So, uh, question for you: If um, I'm sure that you've experienced this a little bit, but uh, with how weird the world is right now, uh, being online or at least unique, maybe not so weird anymore because we're kind of getting used to it. What could you say to maybe any of your friends that are around East Tech that might make them want to do improv with you and enjoy it on the fun with your fun young group? That is a good question, and I think the, I, for improv, especially in this year, being on camera, especially how I've seen it in my classes, it's one of the things people shy from the most. With improv, you're being goofy and silly, and you're not caring about what other people think of you, because sometimes you just, you aren't you, you have that mask, but that is still you, and you're just comfortable with being on camera. I feel like that's probably one of the things I would say, like, if you want to get on camera, if you want people to, like, make friends this year, because that's the hardest issue, improv's mm -hmm. probably the best place to go. We make a lot of fun jokes. I brought a joke back from last year. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love jokes that live forever. Yes. yes. The running gags are great. And, and yes. also... Too, I know I kind of touched on this before, but uh, any student that is an East Tech student that might not know Miss Fleming, Miss Fleming, who is the theater teacher there, Miss Fleming is wonderful, just a wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful soul, uh, great leader, great teacher, and then you also have a coach in Romeo. Uh, Romeo, not the play, but that's an actual person named Romeo who coaches the East Tech team. Um, Romeo was handpicked by your prior coach to kind of be his successor, and uh, mm -hmm. yep. So he picked Romeo and then kind of helped slash coached slash trained Romeo for about his whole season uh, before Romeo kind of actually took the ball and took over as coach. So lot, there is a little bit of a legacy going on there at East Tech, and I'm happy that you're a part of it. And most of uh, and more, and I most of the older kids have graduated, um, mm -hmm. so a lot of them are gone. So mostly like a one-year players that are still left with East Tech, and uh, we're excited to give Kit her opportunity. Yeah. Can now, as far yeah, as that opportunity is concerned, you know, have you have you been able to drink in a lot of Romeo's lessons? Do you feel like he's I, given you a good building block for your first show when you get there, even in this digital format? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Some of the things he touches upon from last year and just adds on to it. But if even if you're new, you still understand what you what is being talked about. I feel like he has actually tra like transformed like physical improv to digital improv extremely well. I, yeah. I I feel like I'm learning a little bit more on improv in this online environment for some reason. It could be that I'm actually in here longer. That probably is a main component to it. You know. Er that, that leads me into an interesting thought. A lot of schools have struggled most with adding that physicality into this realm. You know, my school, Del Sol, is openly struggling with miming. Miming is a big part of what we do. It's a big physical part about what we do. Would you say that you feel like Romeo is doing a good job communicating things like pantomime to you guys as part of that physical presence? 
Rule, rule of three means we'll get another family member. <laughs> I hope it's a kitty. I want to see a kitty from Kit. <laughs> I'm the oldest of uh, six. I'm sorry. Oh, that's or, okay. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I would love to know the answer to that question, but even more so, I want to know if you can show us how Romeo might teach miming. As a matter of fact, we wonder, can you give us maybe like a little impression of what yeah. Romeo might teach you if, if you were trying to learn how to mime most effectively in this medium? Awesome. Okay. Let me just make sure I'm not gonna fall. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay. okay. Welcome guys. Today we're gonna be learning about scene work, more specifically pantomiming and scene work. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the most exaggerate your most expression and exaggerate it. If you're just bouncing the basketball, exaggerate it. Make it obvious that you are. If you're eating some food, make sure you everyone knows you don't have to say a word. You get everything you need. All you need is just to exaggerate it. Nice. Where'd, where'd Kit go? I, Romeo just joined the interview. It's true, except <laughs> unlike Romeo, Kit can finish her sentences completely. <laughs> Whoa, you're coming for his weave there. Hey, no, I do the same thing. When I'm coaching my students, I'm like, guys, always remember to, but it's very important. Let's just do, hey. I always <laughs> finish off my sentences with so. So like, it's I hard. can't, it's just, yeah, so. <laughs> Got to focus on finishing those sentences as coaches, but we're working on it. Um, but hey, thanks for the impression. I think now, more than ever, you've proven that you're ready to play a game with us. Are you down? What's the rules? Uh, oh. We're going to find out right now as Kopi draws randomly a game from his hat of games. These are games that we have not played with other schools yet. So we promise this will be a brand new experience for all of us. It could even be a game that I haven't played oh. before, and I've played a lot of games in my 10 or plus years. It sounds like it's an easy game. <laughs> you, we'll find out. You've you played it, Warren. We're going to play some two lines. Oh, of course we have. Oh, my goodness. Kobe, so, yeah. You, you pick, Warren. What do you want to do? I'll be 100 with you. I just know how solid you are at this. Let's make sure the kids see the best example by putting you in the middle. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Kit and Warren are going to have two lines of dialogue to say, and that's all they're allowed to say throughout the entirety of the scene. We're going to give them those lines of dialogue right now, and that's it. It's all they're allowed to say. I'm going to have free range. I'm going to go say anything during this game, but they're only allowed to say those. Now, we would ask an audience uh, for these lines. Don't have an audience, but I've got so many lines already ready to go. Uh, I'm just going to randomly assign these lines. So, Perfect. Kit, your first line is going to be, the devil went down to Georgia. Perfect. So you got to remember, the devil went down to Georgia. That means the devil Warren, went down to Georgia, guys. <laughs> Warren, your first line is, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Oh, boy. That's Warren. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so ready to go, Kit. Perfect. Your second line is, you can't handle the truth. And then Warren, you ah, almost dropped it. Okay, Warren, your line is, who's on first? Oh, my goodness. How full circle. Del Sol, if you're watching this, I showed you this kit before. Hopefully, I could be funny with it. <laughs> So uh, that's all you two are allowed to say are the lines that we have given you. Uh, we need a suggestion though. Let's say the three of us are gonna rob something that you norm that you can't rob. What is something you can't possibly rob? Oh, how the about- City of France. I mean, okay. <laughs> I mean, all we- France. We We're just gonna steal France from the rest of the world. Okay, got it, got it. So uh, let's do a review so we know what our lines are. Warren, what are your lines? I can see clearly now the rain has gone. And cool. who's on first? Perfect. And Kit, what are your lines? The devil went down to Georgia, and you can't handle the truth. Perfect. This is our game of two lines. We are robbing Paris. Let's begin. Oh, good. Uh, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad the two of you are here. Uh, I was worried when I was out on my walkabout that uh, you guys wouldn't show up. My name is uh, my name is Ned. Um, I'm a park ranger here in Canada, but uh, but uh, really, what I'm trying to do is I'm uh, I'm, I'm trying to start a heist. Uh, you sir, you seem a little lost. You uh, you need a little help here. The devil Who's went down to Georgia. Who's on first? Uh, well, 
if uh, if you two if you two know the secret code word, maybe you're the twos that I'm looking for here. Uh, I, I know it's the dark night in Canada here underneath this maple tree, but uh, uh, can you say you the code word? You can't handle oh. the truth. You, you're both speaking at uh, the same time. It's really rude here in Canada. We don't do that, eh? Uh, so could uh, could one could you one of you say the code word? You can't handle the truth. Ooh, playing hard to get, but good. You, good. That's the whole point. You're not supposed to say the code word. If if we get in trouble uh, and we go to jail, eh? We have to tell the police. We can't tell the police nothing. Uh, how about you? Can you tell us the code word? Who's on first? <laughs> That's all that we need to worry about is who's up first and who's going to help. Now look, the helicopter is going to be here in four minutes and 30 seconds. We're in a tight schedule. We are going to steal France, all right? <laughs> Whatever's happening down in America right now, everyone's losing their darn mind, right? The devil went to Georgia. The, the right. devil went to Georgia. <gasps> that's right. That, that's where Trump's on his campaign trail right now in Georgia. Now listen... When the helicopter gets here, we're going to go to France and we're going to convince them just to join Canada because they're silent and aren't doing anything over there in Europe anyway, right? And <gasps> half of our country is French. We might as well just bring France over here and forget about America. <gasps> <laughs> exactly. I'm glad you both agree. <gasps> so I, I just sent both of you a blueprints of what we're going to do when we get to France. If you can check your... Your tablets. Oh, I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. That's that's right. I moved us you underneath the tree. You can't handle the truth. I, well, the truth. look. I can handle the truth that America's nuts, but the world oh. has to handle the truth that France and Canada are going to take over the world. No more Who's standing back and being polite. Who's on first? Well, if you read your tablet, you'll see it's you. You are going to take up the security guard at the French version of the White House. I can see clearly now. Rain is gone. <laughs> That's right. No raining in France because it's going to be nothing but sunlight and rainbows and a pot of gold. The devil went to Georgia. <gasps> Who was on first? Hey, look. The devil is in Georgia. He went there oh. first, which means we can leave now because he's not paying attention to us. <gasps> the helicopter's almost here. One minute and 45 seconds. I I hope you both know the plan. So you Who's are going to- first? That, yes, it's you. <laughs> you are going to go in, in. You're going to go into the French White House first. And then what are you going to do when you get in there? Read, your, read the plan. I, 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 I. I can see clearly now. Rain is gone. <laughs> so, someone's a little wacko, huh? That's okay. Uh, we can do this together. C Canada's always been a little weird. You Ooh. can't handle the truth. The Ooh. devil is in Georgia. Look, I can handle this. This helicopter is going to be here in 30 seconds. If you two can't handle trying to bring Canada and France together to take over the world, then I'm doing this alone. Who's yeah, with I can me? see clearly now. The rain is gone. Right. Who's on first? That's the attitude to have. Everyone, put your hand in the middle. Put your hand in the middle, everybody. I want everyone to yell, yay, Canada, on the count of three. Ready, one, two, three. You can oh, handle the truth. Canada. All right, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. All right, come on, helicopter's here. Yeah, I see clearly now. <laughs> Uh, that was a great heist. That is the scene. Perfect. Oh, I was born to be blind. Can't wait till I actually need prescription glasses so that the irony of this scene can be brought forward into my life. Hooray! Well, that was fun, Kit. Did you enjoy yourself? That was quite fun. It was a character I probably would have gone with myself. But then I got the, you can't handle the truth. I'm like, this sounds like a character who would probably, like, hide everything but like and also just kind of like hey i don't trust anyone but you i trust but i also don't trust you 
I love that. You know, it's a great reason why Two Lines is a fun game for you to pick up early on in your improv career. It teaches you how to say lines in different ways, so it evokes different emotions and different characters, even though the content of the line is exactly the same. You played it very well. That was fun. Uh, you know, I'm always inspired by blind improv like that. Now you'll have a scene you can go back and show everybody else because you uh, you were able to do it with somebody you've never met before, right? It was easy. Yeah. Um, so hopefully some of your fellow classmates will be inspired by that too. But we're going to ask for one more reason to be inspired. Uh, we here at Just a Preview love music. We've been listening to music all throughout the quarantine. I have found so many great artists like Dub Dub, Not Bottom. And we want to basically come together now and appreciate a little wisdom from music, or really specifically wisdom yeah. from, from a, a song. song. Now, we, we've gotten a lot of reviews lately, and we've really tried to correct song on uh, the problems of not being inspirational. And I know she just went through a bout of, like, very kiddie songs. So I specifically asked song. I said, song, here's a song that I think you can find wisdom in. And I said, song, here it is. Give me wisdom from the song, Don't Let Me Down. Oh, I love the Beatles. Yeah, Can right. Yeah. This Beatles is gonna awesome. be this is gonna be inspirational, right? Yeah, so right. here, oh, let's definitely. all pause for wisdom from a song. Darling, I hope that you'll be here when I need you the most. So don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. Can why why? I didn't think she could mess this up. I mean, I told her exactly what song. I, I feel like I picked up a new bad habit purely because of her. Nope, oh, chain smoking. I get it. Oh, I didn't even do that on total purpose. Don't smoke <laughs> pens, guys. It's been a wonderful time with you, kid. Thank I you for joining the club. And match and flat cap for flat cap. You say hi to my friend Haley when you get the chance. And guys, we'll see you guys next week for another Just a Preview with the New School. New captains. I don't know why I keep saying next week. We're clearly going to get a new one tomorrow. So we'll see you all then. And Kit, East Tech, thanks for coming. Bye!